Hey, so hello and welcome to the next episode of Cyber Potato, where we will be building our ideas app. And today is time to add authenticated routes. So basically, your user should be allowed to go to pages like login page or register page without any security obstruction. But when uh, there's an operation that uh, somehow uh, shows or manipulates his private data, uh, it should be secured. And we'll be using that, uh, we'll be building that uh, using, uh, of course, uh, React Navy. Uh, and yeah, we'll secure some of the pages that are internal to our app. But let me start with something else. Actually, I can see that in my login page right now, oops, sorry. In my login page, there's no way to get to the register other than typing the address right here. And that's not so cool. So let's fix this uh, real quick. We can do just something like um, adding a link. So maybe here I can just type link and and as you can see, this is imported from React Navy. Okay, and uh, let's say something like, like uh, need, let's actually do paragraph here. Okay, and then we'll say something like need an account. And this is gonna have a uh, ref, yeah, ref. Okay, uh, let's go to register with and say register now. Let's add a space here. Register, register now, okay. And this should get us. Okay, yeah, so now we can go from login page to register. We naturally should add another link to go from register to uh, to login. And here, let's say something like, mm, already have an, have an account. And let's say link. Uh, not to, to just ref and this is gonna take us to login and and let's see something like login that wasn't really creative let's auto import that mm. now there's no URL login yeah so this should just get us to root. Okay, and now it works. So this is cool. This is how you basically set up uh, links between pages in your application. Just remember that the link component is working only on the routes defined uh, in our router so here okay so i can do something like this go to link mm, let's say ref is gonna be google uh, google this wouldn't work with react router uh, yeah, and it's not gonna work. Um, it's not gonna work. I think here we can try 
this approach but I don't think oh no it would actually work so yeah it will work for react router thankfully in react navy this works so yeah you can link to the outside outside world too so this is great uh what else okay so actually we should rearrange uh, our um, our router a little bit because um, basically when you go to a service for example like facebook you're not landing on the login page every single time no instead you're taken to the main page uh, i think for facebook this is the wall the famous wall and uh, this should be the very same uh, for us. So if someone goes to the root address, the empty address, it should link them to the main website where the whole list of ideas is displayed and not into login. So let me start by creating another folder here. And I'm going to call this ideas and I'm going to create another folder called ideas list this is going to be our main page uh, and we'll create ideas lists page dot dot tsx of course not much to it um just say ideas page is gonna be for now not much because we don't need much here uh, ideas page is fine let's export uh, export default ideas page okay and let's hook it up so we will say Ideas, ideas page here, okay, and we'll move our login here. It's gonna be route, and this is gonna be title of oh. This is going to be title of login and view is going to be naturally login page. Okay. And it should work. Um, yeah i think it should work if we go to the root here yeah so now there are a few things that we need to do first thing first is we have to redirect our user to ideas page after successful login okay so let's do just that we can go to login page and here we have okay here is setting the error else if there's no error we'll use navigation yeah so this is um programmatic navigation we don't use links here link component but we're saying that we would like to move our user to a different page when something happens. Currently, if he uh, logs in successfully, meaning that there are no errors, dump it up. If there are no errors, let's just move user to the login page. And thankfully, React Navy has something called called called, called use navigation. Okay, so I can create a navigation hook. Um, I believe this is how we do it. Use navigation. 
and navigation and no it's being returned directly to us okay so navigation navigate to root okay so now if I go to login and I log in with the correct credentials yeah I'm being taken to my site so this is good this is very very good but not completely because still if I go to application and where I store my data if I clear the security token that I'm receiving from the API I'm still being able to get to the site that should be private to my user so let's fix that mm, in ALF I'm going to create new file yeah. and I'm going to call it authenticated route.ts okay and here we will need a few things from the navi it's going to be map matter and redirect from navi okay so uh, how this is going to work is we'll write a function that we can apply to a route and um, we will provide something called context to our router and in this context we'll have a token and if the token that is um, being stored in local storage and is available to the router uh, is uh, is there uh, we will um, consider our user well authenticated properly the problem is it's not 100% secure well it's kind of is but it isn't because um, if someone adds to the local storage token with any kind of um, with any kind of um, content, uh, he will be able to, he will be able to um, to go to our login page. And this is a problem. Normally, we would do something like check if the token is correct uh, before going to the page. If we have some kind of function on the API that we can call to check the token. Uh, but the good thing is that uh, our user uh, won't be able to fetch any data or modify any data with, uh, with the incorrect token because he, uh, he will be uh, restricted by the API to do so. Okay, so after all this rambling, I will create interface uh, interface describing my context and I am uh, expecting token of string and now we will have to uh, write a function and this function uh, react navi navi yes um, this function is being taken directly from the from the documentation you can go to authenticated routes and read all about it okay so yeah always use documentation and i'm going to write with authentication okay matter we can just type matter here's the first empty param and then we are interested in the context 
Uh, okay, and now we'll use map. We can omit first argument. Context is of type context. Okay, and we're checking context for token. If it's there, and if it's not, we'll redirect back to login. So yeah, matter is basically our route, kind of. So if the context for given route has token, let it go through. So we are consider considering our user to be authenticated with correct security token. If not, redirect them back to login. Okay? I don't expect you to 100% understand this. This is some internal stuff regarding the React Navy and how it works. But basically, this is how we will protect our routes. Uh, okay, and let's just set this up. It's rather easy, really, because the only thing we're doing here is we're wrapping our route with our with authentication. Okay, and this is a function. Okay. So yeah, we're wrapping this route with, with that with authentication function. Okay, so let me see. Does this work? We don't have uh, we don't have token stored as you can see, and I'm trying to access the route, and we can access it. Okay, so this works. We're being redirected back to our uh, login page, and this is it for now. We'll continue in the next episode, and I'll see you there. Bye.